Now, guys, I hate to bring politics over here, but we got to discuss the ratchet campaign rally that Kamala Harris had in Atlanta, Georgia the other day. Because you would think it's supposed to be a rally for Miss Harris to come out and tell the American people her policies, what she's going to stand for, what she will change and make Americans' lives better for. But no, her campaign rally was more like a rap concert, more like a Turkathon, and it's got a lot of people saying that it was embarrassing and very cringy just for the fact that this is how Democrats think they can get black people's vote. Let's get right into it. What's up, buddy? This is your girl, Megan Stay, aka the Hot Girl Coach, reporting live with the future president of the United States. Hey, everybody, what do you have to say to the American people? We are not going back. <laughs> <laughs> A few moments later, Megan, what is this? At the ATL rally event, like what? You need to pipe it down, honey, and do that somewhere else, but not at this type of event. Like, very, silence is very loud. Now, I know my ladies in the crowd love their party. Real hot girls. And if you want to keep loving your party, you know who to go for. Hey! Hey! Megan, I'm going to hold your hand when I say this. That wasn't it, my sister. And I love you. It's no beef between us. You know, honestly, you're the only woman I would ever consider, right? So when I tell you this, I tell you this out of love. Like, that wasn't it, my love. So Kamala Harris brought her fake Southern accent having ass to Atlanta yesterday. And she got up on that stage. Before she got up on that stage, she came out to Quavo and Megan Thee Stallion got up on that presidential rally stage and started twerking in her blue Democratic outfit, which was a small skirt with a crop top. I'm highly disappointed in the city of Atlanta. I'm highly disappointed in the city of Atlanta. She came here, she's from California, but she came here with a fake Southern accent. Look at the way that she was talking, trying to get our attention. You're trying to get our vote and people, the crowd goes crazy. Like Quavo says, they walk it like I talk it. And the crowd went wild. Are y'all serious, black people? Is this all we're worth in Atlanta? Are y'all serious? She comes putting on this fake accent. She's an Indian from California with a white mother. She's never lived in the South. She's married to a, a Caucasian man. Where did this accent come from? This entire speech was a cringe. It was hard to watch. Like my bones were aching while watching this speech. This wasn't even a speech. This was a circus, a clown show. Come on, y'all. We got to do better than this, Atlanta. The black community fall for this cringy ass bullshit. Or as my friend Quavo would say, he does not walk it like he talks it. Name me a time in black culture history you heard someone say, even after the song Walk It Like It Talk It came out, say, man, he ain't walking it like he talk it. Nobody says that, bro. Nobody. Then on top of that, she has this weird accent. Where is this weird accent coming from? Because this is how you normally talk. Your vote is your power. So please make sure your voice is heard this November and register. But y'all notice how she talked when she was on an LGBTQ set versus how she was talking when she had her rally in Atlanta, Georgia today. Kamala, you are not Southern. You have no Southern draw. You're not from any part of any Southern state. You have no ties to the South whatsoever. So why are you talking like that? If my memory serves me right, ain't she from California? Mama's Indian, daddy's Indian and Jamaican. So where's the black culture Southern draw coming from? Like I told y'all before this woman had any rallies, I told y'all this weeks ago, y'all fall for that. I eat fried chicken and I eat watermelon and I listen to rap music. Bullshit if y'all want to, y'all gonna be hollering after about three to four months of this woman being in office. I'm not bullshitting with y'all. All skin folk and kin folk and she ain't even skin folk. She Indian, Asian. I don't know what they're trying to do, but I know that I'm not buying it. <laughs> yeah. That's all. I'm not buying it. But still vote because it's important to vote. But yeah, I don't know why they... 
I don't I don't know. I just know that it's definitely trying to market to a certain type of stereotype of a group in exactly. our community. I don't think it's fair either, but at the same time, um I see what the plan is. I see what they're trying to market. Um, and I understand there was comments about her campaign and why she's not making enough money for, from her campaign or whatnot, which I guess is she's just trying to find more attention towards her campaigns. And this was her best way of doing that. So, which is horrible. Horrible. We'll see. Um, sorry. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, definitely vote because we do have power in our voice. I don't. I don't not see that, you know, things can be rigged at times, but I think it still matters that we at least have our voices heard or at least our opinions um, because we we are the people, so. Yo, so I watch, um, you know, the rally that Camilla Harris put together in Atlanta, and that was embarrassing. You have Megan Thee Stallion on stage twerking. And it goes to show you that that's the best that she could do. That goes to show you what she thinks of us. She thinks that's what we want to see. And I just hate to see it. And it's just it was just a clown show. It was a circus. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what out of all the musicians, all the things you could put together, you chose Megan Thee Stallion to twerk in on stage. It was just ridiculous. Um... If y'all don't vote this year, I completely understand why. Um, <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but yeah, it that that was ridiculous. And that's the same thing Biden did. I remember when he got Cardi B, he interviewed her. And it's just like, what are you interviewing Cardi B for? Once again, it goes to show you they try to appeal to us by hip hop and stuff like that. Like, that's what all of us want to see. Like, no, that doesn't stand for all of us. What do you think, Corey? So let me get this straight. In order for Cami to have a big turnout at her rally yesterday, she had to have Megan the Stallion perform. What a classy choice. So we're trying to engage more people by promoting twerking. Work or twerk? <laughs> the latter of the two, obviously. Boy, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this is a great representation of Cammie. Yeah, and how she's twerked her way to the top. A lot of people came for the concert, but they left before the speech. And I'm not really surprised because uh, who doesn't love a free concert? Especially right now with how expensive everything is. And, and whose fault is that oh, that's right <laughs> the people that have been running the country for the last almost four years let me get this right you could have had anybody anybody in the world to come up there and represent you in america and then you choose not a kurt franklin not a fantasia not even a I don't know, Jennifer Hudson, anybody that had somewhat class that would have at least been able to sing their ass off and make everybody feel good about being American. And you chose to bring Megan a stallion on there. Boy, you are reaching. You are reaching hard for these young black women. This is the proof that they don't think black people have sense. It's exactly like that movie Django. If you watch Django, the movie with Jamie Foxx, you had that, high, um, that house dude, you know what I'm saying? The house slave that lived in the um, house with the master, and he kept all the black people, all the slaves in line. That's what she's doing. She puts some music up, niggas go to dancing. Yeah, yeah. Walk it like you talk it. We know that song. And that's the example why it makes black people look stupid. Just pure stupid. You put a music on. You say some lyrics. You get a girl to twerk. 
twerking ain't for that type of scenery. What are you doing? And you're still not talking about policies. You're still not talking about how to make up for all the bull and make America better in the next four years. Boy, I tell you, boy, I'm going to feel sorry for y'all, boy. If that lady become president, oh, boy, I tell you. Just wrapped up. Now, you guys saw all of the footage, and there was actually a lot of energy for her in the building. Almost every single seat was filled, not every single one. But many people are questioning, well, were they here to see Kamalo, or were they here because Quavo, Meg Thee Stallion were here, and it was essentially a giant concert. And I'm going to be honest, guys. People started leaving about 15 minutes after she started speaking, which is kind of notable to me because... And that was crazy too, where people came there just to get a free concert. People started walking out right after the rappers got done singing or performing. So they didn't even come there to hear Vice President Kamala Harris comments. And guys, I truly feel like yeah, if you are black, you should be pretty much offended how Democrats are trying to earn our vote. And just for the fact that a lot of Democrats are looking for black men to step up and vote, this is what they think black men wanna see. That entire night, she talked about no policies that she's gonna introduce to make Americans' lives better. She talked about no policies they will be introducing to make black people's lives better. And another thing that makes this so frustrating is the fact that she actually tried to play us with that fake terrible southern accent like if anybody knows southern accents is me but that's just the level that these politicians will scoop down to just to try to con southern americans that they're you know like like them or something when really this woman is not even african-american or black she's an indian jamaican woman and she's been identifying herself just as that. but now just because this election is going on she's a black woman but i'm gonna start the video right there because that's why i don't like to talk politics it gets you a little tight but you guys definitely drop a comment down below be sure to hit that subscribe button like the video thanks for watching i will see you in the next one